Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rudy and this is Hattie and we are the Perrys. <laughs> so, today's video, I was thinking, I get this actually question a lot and I just haven't done it because I like to keep my things already packed up. So I thought, let's go through my travel skincare and travel makeup products that I bring with me every time I travel that are pretty much already packed by the time I'm ready to go. So basically I have a travel bag, which I'll show you in a minute, that I try and keep already pre-packed with stuff so that when I'm ready to leave, I don't have to go through like this big long process of trying to figure out what to bring, that I don't have that much space, all that jazz. And once again, I am on the same upload schedule as Jessica Braun. She literally just talked about her travel makeup and skincare, so I don't know what's going on. But we're gonna talk about and show my little travel case, what I have in it what I'm gonna put in it and then also show you my bag of minis yes this is an entire bag of just mini skincare hair care body care and makeup that I have accumulated over the years that I just continue to go through instead of having to buy new things or like buy travel size containers I freaking hate travel size containers where you have to like squirt stuff in them. No I want my product and I want it mini and I want it cute and I want it branded don't you? Yeah, she does. So if you are new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Like I said, my name is Rudy. That's Hattie. Penny's over here. We talk about skincare, makeup, hair care, body care, um, vlogs. We talk about what's going on in the industry. We talk about Ultra 21 Days of Beauty. That was my last upload. We're, we're kind of old YouTube new makeup, hashtag berry patch. So I'd love to have you subscribe and let's get into it. So as I mentioned, this is my travel case and we're kind of starting with some stuff already in here but we'll we'll go through every single thing this is the best travel case that i've ever tried and i will link it obviously in the description but this is from amazon it's in my amazon storefront it's in my shop my i'll have it in the description all that jazz and we'll go through the compartments and everything but i wanted to start with the way that it looks when it's closed it just has the most space for the size it fits in a carry-on very well and it has this pocket here that fits this little to go mirror perfectly, which is what I use when I travel for doing my makeup. It's not charged right now, so I need to charge it, but this is an LED light so that you have like a stand, see, where you can do your makeup no matter where you are without having to worry about like having the right lighting or having something set up for you. So this is amazing and it fits perfectly in this little pouch here. So when you open it, it has these two sections in the front that fold out, but this also has a little hanger on it. So you can hang it from wherever you go. And then it has these two larger pockets with the two smaller pockets on either side. I usually keep skincare and hair care in one and makeup in the other, but TBD because I'm really trying to work on making everything smaller and easier. And um, for this trip, I am going to Sarasota to visit Reed's grandma. So I am being super minimal about my makeup and my skincare because we're only going to be there for a few days and I'm not doing anything like crazy. We're just kind of spending time as a family. So I don't feel like I need to bring so much stuff. I want my skin to be safe. So let's start with makeup and then we'll go into skincare. I pulled out most of my little travel makeup and put it in here or the things that I think I'm going to bring. I would say travel makeup is harder to come by than travel skincare for some reason like the products that I really love they don't really make travel sizes of which kind of stinks but we'll go one by one with with each little thing I wanted to also say in here is this is like a rare beauty case and I keep all of my travel size brushes in here so anytime I get a brush that's like got a smaller barrel I stick it in here and I don't use it so that it's in my travel makeup and I know that it's always there so because Beauty makes travel size brushes like this collection is perfect for that it even has a mini of my favorite foundation brush which is their 101 so it's a really great travel set if you have it and then I try and keep a sponge in there as well this one is old so I'm actually gonna throw it away but I do have a backup here so I'm just gonna shove that in there and I keep that inside the makeup compartment so starting off with our uh, primer and foundation these are the two that I am bringing on the trip this is a mini look how cute it is are you kidding me I got this I think as a hundred point perk and I got a couple of them because I thought this is an opportunity I can't pass up this is my favorite primer and the fact that it is 
available in this size is just perfect. I love this. And then also the Summer Friday Skin Tint. This is a smaller bottle, like just in general, it's really skinny. And this is one fluid ounce, which is fine to take. I am also just carrying on, so everything has to be below three ounces. And this is my favorite skin tint. It works so well, and again, it doesn't take up much space, and it can be warm as a foundation as well because there's no SPF in this, so I will use this during the day and at night. And then for concealer and powder, I actually just picked this up. This is a new mini that I found that I was like, oh yeah, this is the first mini I have found of a concealer that I actually like in a long time. This is the Nude Sticks Concealer. I am actually wearing this today. So I'm just gonna take this out of the pack. This is in shade Nude 4. I think I wear shade 4 medium or something like that. So I need to just give it a quick swatchy to make sure that it works for me. Oh yeah, that'll be good. That will be good. So I think this is such a good concealer and the size is literally so many. So that's going in there. And then in the off chance that I actually do powder my skin, I always bring the Kosas powder. It sucks because it's huge, like it's a big ass product, but this is the best powder ever and I always bring it when I travel and I wish so badly that they made a mini. So for bronzer and blush, I'm telling you guys, we are keeping it mini mole literally mini mini. I am bringing the Milk Makeup bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer that I like to travel with. It's so little. It's so mini. And I wear the shade Blaze. You can literally, oh, maybe I wear the shade Baked. I should probably get the shade Baked because Blaze is a little bit too dark for me. But this stuff is amazing to travel with. Highly, highly recommend it. Um, so easy to blend out and just looks good on everyone. They have so many good shade options and their blushes are also great to travel with. But I literally just traveled with a bunch of their blushes. So I think I'm going to use a different blush instead of these. For my blushes, I am bringing two minis from Nude Sticks. These are both really beautiful shades. These are the Nudies and the Nudies Matte. So this one is in Sunkissed, which is like one of my favorite shades that they make. I'm literally almost out of this because I love it so much. And I just like to warm these up on the back of my hand and then apply it with a brush. So that's the shade Sunkissed there. And then this is the shade Sweet Peony Peach. Sweet Peach Peony. And these layer really well together, one being matte and one being dewy. So that one is Sunkissed and that one is Sweet Peach Peony. And they look really beautiful together and they take up literally no space in the bag. And then I also thought, why not get a powder blush option? This is the powder blush from uh, Benefit and it is in the shade Terra. This is a really good sort of bronzer blush moment. So I, just in case, need to have like a longer wearing color. This is really small, it's the mini. Doesn't take up much space at all. And just in case we're like doing a nice dinner, which I think we are one night. For highlight, I am bringing my mini Hollywood Flawless Filter. I wear shade four. They have minis in all of these. This is shade three. I love the minis of these. If you're interested in trying this product, I would highly recommend getting the mini first because these take forever to go through anyways. And this one is super travel friendly and it works under makeup, works with your foundation, it works on top as a highlight, like it's the best and it comes with a doe foot applicator. So I love traveling with this. I don't plan on wearing eyeshadow while I'm there, but just in case I do like to have options every once in a while. The About Face liquid eyeshadows, the matte ones specifically, in the shade Capulets is my favorite. It's just like a really nice warm brown that kind of creates a wash all over the lid. And then if I wanna spice it up, this is a duo dual-sided pencil from Tarte. It's the Quick Stick. One side is like a very pretty gold shade that you could use in the inner corner. And the other side is a brown liner. So it's really easy to get a look out of that for sure if you wanted to do something. And then also when I'm feeling lazy and I just wanna smudge something out, I'll use this shade from Nude Sticks. It's called Weed. And I will just smudge that into the lash line and it looks like grungy but very soft at the same time. So I probably won't be wearing any of those but I always like to have the option just in case. For mascara, I just picked up this mini from Cali Ray in the Sephora's mini section. This is the best 
tubing mascara that I've been trying recently. Like I love all tubing mascaras, but this one is especially good. And the fact that it is waterproof, which essentially it takes really warm water to get this to come off is really good for traveling, especially if I am wanting to slap on a little bit of mascara before we go down to the beach or whatever. This is a great option because it won't smudge or come off and it lasts all day. It's really beautiful, makes like a nice fluttery effect. I am so glad they came out with a mini in that. And then really to round out my look, I haven't picked out my lip products yet, so we'll have to think about that towards the end, but I'm bringing the Glossier Brow Flick and the um, Kosas Airbrow as my brow products because these are my absolute favorite and I don't have minis of brows. I mean, they're basically already mini products. And of course, a faux freckle maker because, you know, I just have to have my freckles no matter what. And that is literally all I'm bringing in terms of makeup outside of packing my lip products. And I will say that I have a mini of the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Mist. And this is something that I will use as a setting spray and as a facial spray while I am traveling. So I'm actually gonna put this in my makeup section so it takes up a little bit less space in my skincare section. It's 1.35 fluid ounces. So it is safe to have in your carry-on and it is so cute. All right, let's move move down and talk a bit about skincare, hair care, all of that jazz. As you can see, I already have stuff in here. So we'll go through a little bit of what's already in here and if I want to switch anything out because there are definitely a few things that I have recently picked up that we are going to be switching out from my big bag of my big old bag of and some stuff that I feel like is almost out that I'll probably be switching out soon. Probably not in this trip, but maybe the next one. So uh, let's start with hair care and just get through that. I found minis, or they sell minis now, of the Crown Affairs Ritual Duo, which is my favorite shampoo and conditioner. And they are exactly three ounces and then conditioner is 2.4. I mean, it's literally just their mini bottles. So I will continue to repurchase these, but I do also have living proof options for when I run out of these because I obviously want to go through what I have. But this is the best. I love the size and these are unbeatable. So I definitely will keep those with me. And then in terms of hair care, I try and keep it simple. I bring a dry shampoo. This one is from Living Proof and they have like minis for every single product they make. So I like to keep that in there. They also have minis that are this size, but I'm almost out of this one. And this one is a little bit smaller, I think. So this is a little under an ounce and this is 2.4 ounces. I have a mini brush. This is from Dry Bar and I just think it's good to take up less space with a brush because you know how annoying they can be to have a whole ass brush in your bag. And then the rest of my hair care is actually at the end of this section here just because I don't want it to leak on everything and that's because they're they are heat protectants and hair oils so this is a mini of the Kerastase ultimate elixir treatment which is my favorite heat protectant oil all-in-one and this is 1.7 fluid ounces so I keep it in a se separate section because it's oily and I don't want it to to like blend in here and get everything nasty but I love this so much highly recommend it and then I also have this super tiny mini of the crown affair hair oil that I use as like a finishing oil if I feel like my hair is really dry so I love having all of those and then of course I bring extra clips these are basically always in my bag no matter what i don't take these out like this is a clip from crown affair it has actually clips on the inside and outside and then a couple ponytail holders and then some you know bobby pins all that jazz just having those in there so you don't have to worry about adding them or forgetting if you brought a ponytail holder and then lastly for hair i do have a roller just in case i want to put a little bit of heat on my hair and have my bangs rolled and looking cute that's really all i keep in the way of hair i don't bring hairspray i probably should but you know it's not something I use all the time so I don't think about it. I do have a mini of the uh, volume and dry texture spray from Living Proof, but I haven't found a need for it just yet, especially on trips where I'm like getting in and out of the water, you know? So now we're talking about body care, hair care vibes. I find that actually the hardest minis to find are body care minis. It should be the easiest, but it is so hard to find mini 
body washes and mini deodorants and many things like that that you'll actually use or that you have used in your house. So first for body care, I always have my silicone loofah in here. These are super easy and they never get nasty because they're made out of silicone so you don't have to worry about it getting moldy. And again, they take up no space in your bag. And then for body wash this year, I actually, I used to use and have minis of the Saltaire body washes. I think these were so cute and they are really inexpensive, but they do not lather. They do not lather very well and you have to end up using a ton of pumps and this gets really nasty in your bag and ends up shooting everywhere. So I actually don't like these for minis and I will go through them another time, but I bought this one recently. I got it on Amazon, but you can also get it on Sephora. It's the Brazilian Play Shower Gel Cream from Sol de Janeiro. It's their body wash and it's three ounces. So it also comes with a top that like opens this way so it won't get all in your bag. So I'm really excited about trying this one and I am hopeful that it will lather a little bit better than the other one. I also always have issues finding um, travelable body lotions because they end up being not enough. Like I need that three ounce life because I use my body lotion so often. So right now I am using this mini Josie Marin whipped argan oil. This is in the unscented version which is obviously my favorite because of my eczema and it comes with quite Quite a bit of product. I don't love that it's a jar because I have to dig my fingers in it, but this is two ounces. So it's lasted me two trips already and I'm hopeful that it will also last me this one and I like that it doesn't take up much space, but I usually do use the CeraVe moisturizing cream just because it's super easy, but this one being 1.98 ounces, I feel like I just go through it so fast. I always bring my Billy razor with me, but I did want to say this year I am bringing a um, like a trimmer to help with my bikini line to see if it helps with not getting like bikini rashes. So I'll keep you updated about that. But in terms of body care, that's pretty much all I bring because what else do you need? You know what I mean? You got your razor, you got your hairbrush, you got your body lotion. That's pretty much it. So now let's get into some skincare. So starting with a cleansing balm, I like this mini from um, a pharmacy. This is the green clean and you can usually get this as a hundred point perk at Sephora. This is like literally the sample size, but I've been filling it up with other cleansing balms because it's just such a good travel size. So this is actually the uh, glow recipe cleansing balm in there, but I don't really care. It works very well and it's super small. And then I have been using this mini and I am really liking it. This is from Naturium. It is their niacinamide cleansing gel A. It works really well and it doesn't take a lot to get a good lather going, which is super important when you're doing um, travel care products. I also have this one that I will probably put in next, which is the Keep It Clean Mini from In Beauty Project. This is a foaming cleanser and it actually comes out like a foam. So I'm gonna save this one for a trip where maybe I'm like doing more activities. And I also used to travel with this one from First Aid Beauty and I think it smells so bad. It smells so weird. So I put it back because I was like, I really, although it's working, it smells really funky and I don't like that. So in terms of serums, I really try and keep it simple when I am traveling and just use hydrating products because I don't think traveling is really the time to start adding in like AHAs and BHAs into your routine. Like just keep it simple while you're traveling and use products you know your skin likes. So this is a mini of the Glass Skin Serum from Peach and Lily. The only problem with this is I don't know when I'm out of it. Like. I feel like every time I use it, I think I'm gonna be out of it and then I get a few more pumps out of it. So I don't wanna be without a serum, but I do have a backup of this. I just wish it was clear so we could see how much is left. And then for moisturizer, I love traveling with the Road moisturizer because it is travelable at 1.7 ounces and it's also plastic. So it's not going to break or like disrupt anything in your bag and it is so, so, so beautiful and it is quite small for traveling, which I really like. Sometimes I go downstairs and end up picking up stuff from what I already have to add in here, but I just realized I don't have an eye cream and I kind of want to test this one out. This is not something I would normally do, but this is the pharmacy eye cream and I've been hearing really good things about it. Ooh. That looks really good. So, I mean, might as well plop it in there. I feel like we're doing really well on the mini, so let's just try something. Actually, you know what? No, scrap that. I'm gonna use one of the ones downstairs that's really small, which is like my Ilia or my um, Live Tinted. So, 
we'll talk about that in a little bit. But anyways, let's go into, what are we at? SBF. I just realized I have two of these. These are the Say Sun Visors. These are my favorite, one of my favorite SBFs. And these are minis. Um, these literally have 0.5 ounces in them, like barely any. So I'm probably just gonna bring one and use it up while I'm there. Don't worry, I'm bringing other facial SBFs for when I go to the beach, but this is so cute and good. I'm thinking literally I'm gonna go through this whole thing while I'm there, for sure. Like. For sure, it's so cute though. And then I always have a road lip treatment in my bag as well because this is the best lip balm ever. I'm not kidding. I have like one in every single spot in my house and so it only makes sense that I have one in my travel bag. Sorry if the um, things are off with the focus, I'm doing my best. And then I also keep a uh, Wander Beauty eye mask in my bag because this is amazing for depuffing and just giving your under eyes a bit of hydration. So I like to keep one or two of those in there, along with my full size deodorant because you know, I'm stinky and if I'm going on a trip, it's gonna need to be it's gonna need to be the full size. So she's, she's just gonna have to stay. Oh, and I also bring a mini of the Mighty Patch kit. You can get these at Target and they come with a few of each one. I think I've already used all of the invisible patches in here, but it gives you the option to travel with your patches so you're not stuck with a big pimple. So basically after I go downstairs, all I'm gonna add to this is an eye cream in here and it'll probably be the new one from Ilya because it's in like lipstick tube. And then I'm gonna pick out my lipsticks to add to there because I still don't know what I want. But before, I wrap this up. I just wanted to talk about quickly two things that I'm going to be bringing one uh, stuff on the plane and the other one is stuff to the beach because again, like I am only doing a carry on. I can't bring a big thing of sunscreen. So I am probably going to end up buying a big thing of sunscreen at uh, the airport, but this is what I brought to, this is what I bought to bring anyways. So I bought a exact three ounce bottle of the super goop play, which is my favorite body SB or it's 2.4 ounces in the SPF 50. This is my favorite body sunscreen. It works so well and it blends really beautifully on all skin tones and me and my husband both like using this. So I'm going to bring that just in case. And this is the bag that I put inside my, um, my beach bag for reapplication on the face. After using the say, I like using the Shiseido stick. This has not broken me out. This is a clear chemical based sunscreen stick and it is an SPF 50 and it's also water resistant. So it's really easy to just reapply on the face, blend in with your fingers and you don't have to worry about getting sunscreen all over your face and making sure it's blended in because it is completely clear and you can definitely feel where it goes on the skin, which is nice. For lips, I am trying out a new product. I'm going to bring both of these, but these are the K skin lip balms and they are uh, SPF lip balms. I just picked up this new shade. That's a color shade, but this one is, um, um, clear so I think this would be good on the beach because I obviously can't see but it has the exact same applicator and feel oh did you hear that as the summer Fridays lip balms like literally the exact same it feels very similar on the lips so I thought it could be kind of fun to have one that is a shade I haven't even tried this yet so let's see what color it comes out as I also don't know like how pigmented these are gonna be but this might be my lip product for the trip because this is super pretty Look at that. That is stunning. I really like that. I honestly might make that just my lip color for the whole trip and have, have a little SPF lip balm on. Cute. That's a very Florida color too. And we all know, let's be honest, I'm probably gonna find my way into Sephora while I'm there. I am bringing the Sun Bum SPF 30 chapstick for my husband because he's not a lip gloss kind of guy and this is just a great way to get him to wear SPF. And then I also like to use the Color Science Powder Sunscreen. This is in the glow. Just because I don't love being super greasy and wearing a hat, so sometimes I'll use this on my forehead underneath my hat and I'll use the stick elsewhere. And it's, again, very travelable. I just picked this up as well from Sephora. It's the glow oil from Super Goop and this is one ounce. So this is SPF 50 and it's also water resistant. So this gives you a good way to just add a little glow to your shoulders or your decollete and feel really good while you're out at the beach while still protecting your skin. So that is basically all 
I'm bringing in that little bag, which is not yeah. much. And I think it should fit in just fine. And of course a hat and sunglasses and all that jazz. And then I guess the, I just wanted to mention in my bag that I bring on the plane, these are like really the only things that I bring. I will bring like a tiny little Evian, which you can get at Ulta, just to like refresh my skin if I feel like I need it. I usually don't, but if it's like a super long flight, it's nice to have one of these. And then also a mini jet lag mask from Summer Fridays. If you feel like your skin is getting super dry, this is good to have. And it's also just like multi-purpose. You could use it on your hands, on your cuticles. You could use it on dry patches on your face or body. It's just a nice thick moisturizer that is literally made for flying. So these are a few things that I bring along with like a road lip balm and my mask and sunglasses because you never know when you're going to be sitting right next to the window in the middle of the day. Okay, I know that was a lot, but I hope it was helpful because y'all have been asking and it's a mess. It's a mess. I'm really trying to figure out how to fit everything into my bag. Like I see some of these packing videos and I'm like, how the hell are they doing this? How are they fitting everything in there? And I can't seem to fit anything in my bag. So I'm going to work on that. I do still have to pack most of my clothes but I'm gonna try and keep it simple I rented a lot of stuff from newly so I think that'll be good but anyways I will probably be filming shorts while I'm there I'll, maybe I'll do a little get ready with me and I'll probably review the K skin SPF so we will definitely talk about that Ooh, I need to bring a perfume and a lip liner mental notes if you think I forgot something let me know in the comments down below um even though I already went on my trip so thanks a lot Thanks a lot, Rachel. Thanks a lot. Um, love you guys. Also, always have hand sanitizer on deck. We'll have to go through like my travel carry-on bag sometime because this is obviously like the stuff I bring in my actual case. But what I have in my backpack is completely different. So we'll talk about that maybe before I go to Florida with my besties and we can do like a what's in my carry-on. I love you guys and I will see you in the next video really soon.